So this is going to be a review of the G Loomis IMX Pro V2S. Um, we took it out on the water and put it through its paces. And we were kind of contemplating how we wanted to do the Bears Den reviews. We decided to break away from the norm a little bit and put these rods out in real world conditions with lines that aren't easy to cast, but ones we'd use in the situations um, that the rods were meant to be used in and uh, show not only how they cast, but also how they fight fish and uh, you know how they're gonna fish over the course of the day in general. And we just thought that you know this would be more beneficial than what's kind of currently out there. Uh, here you'll see Jared bringing one of the first fish of the morning to the boat and the rod handled it perfectly. This next segment's gonna pretty much show all the rod cast. Jared's casting a full sink line into a pretty strong headwind um, with the current ripping, which is why we're using that full sink line. Um, and you'll see this rod is pretty much classic G Loomis, where it has a softer tip and a stiffer butt section. And uh, Jared's trying to punch you know, this line in under the wind, hence the horizontal style of his cast, but you can still get a good view of the way this rod flexes on the cast. And it is classic G Loomis. This is the nine weight, and it's a mid price point US made rod. In this next segment, just see a shot of the fish finder showing this fish stacked up pretty much the whole entire water column. And these were a good mix of fish, um, small schoolies and some larger ones. This next fish here is one of the, the bigger ones of the day. Um, it just shows a size class you can get into, um, which was pretty nice to see considering this is still late April. Um, and another reason, you know, why you kind of want to have at least an eight, but preferably a nine weight out there. You never know what you're going to run into. Uh, here's Jared fighting another fish. And if you keep an eye on the flex profile of the rod, you'll see just how powerful the butt section of the, you know, the G Loomis design is. This is really beneficial in our waters, seeing that out of a boat, you're going to be fishing a sink tip most of the time uh, just to combat the current and, you know, to get, to try to get through that whole water column. Um, that stiff butt section really helps with ripping the whole sink tip out of the water uh, it also helps with these fish um, fighting them because the striped bass especially when they're in uh, you know 20 30 feet of water they're going to dig for the bottom instead of taking a run and um, you know if you have one of these these newer kind of design full flex rods where the whole rod flexes you're not gonna be able to lift the fish and i think that's what kind of um, drove jared to to this rod uh, a lot of the rods on the market uh, cast wonderfully, you know, um, when you're just taking them out for a cast. But um, we found that, you know, when you when you go to fight a fish, um, some of these rods that load up really nice and give you that nice casting sensation aren't the best things for for pulling bass out of uh, structure and uh, pulling them off, you know, uh, rock piles and, you know, trying to stop them from getting down into structure and rock piles. And, you know, here you'll see Jared here, you know, he's really putting the boots to this fish and, You'll, again, you'll see that tip flex, but then it just gets right into that power section of that rod, and and that's you know that's the G Loomis design, uh, and this is classic G Loomis all the way right here. Um, you know he's able to get this fishing quick and safely. All right, so here we are back at the shop, um, front of Loomis rack. This is the rod that Jared was casting. This is the NRX Pro V2S. Uh, this is the nine weight. Um, you can see this rod comes with premium Fuji guides uh, the whole way up. It's got a nice full well cork. Some nice hardware on the reel seat as well. This rod is very, very light for a nine weight. And, uh, you know, as we said in the video, it's got the, uh, the, the soft tip. And it gets probably the bottom two thirds, really strong butt section of the rod, which is kind of characteristics of all the, all the G Loomis rods. Um, it really kind of suits the advanced caster. Um, you know, not having the whole rod flex or less of the rod flex, um, just makes your timing have to be a little bit faster but it allows, it, it allows the rod to unload extremely fast and uh, create a lot of power. So if you can, you know, if you can get um, a lot of line speed and have the rod flex into just a little bit of this butt section, it'll unload extremely fast for you and be able to punch through the wind. And uh, as we said in the video, it really allows you to uh, rip sink tips out of the water and uh, put a lot of leverage on fish when you're trying to pull them up off the bottom. A lot of the, you know, a lot of the fish running. We don't, really don't have too many fish that run, except for albies. The rest kind of just once you hook them, dig for the bottom, dig for structure, and try to bury you in it. And uh, you know, this is a great rod to combat it. And uh, we have uh, quite a few of these in stock. Um, it's a U.S. made rod, mid price point. 
right around 600 bucks. Um, so it kind of falls about half of what the uh, you know what the NRXs and the Asquiths are going for. Um, if you look at the the NRX, I'll just show you. You can see the handles very very similar. Fighting butts very similar. The uh, the real seat itself is uh, very similar. The way it, it locks into the uh, onto the reel, it's going to be almost identical. Uh, just a different different color there. Um, NRX is a little bit lighter. Um, it's going to have a little bit. A little bit upgraded hardware, but like I said, these are premium Fuji guides, um, and for the money, I mean, you really can't beat this rod. If you like this rod review and want to see more like it, uh, please just hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll get right on it.